So we're almost done. We're gonna move on to the lower extremities. So for the hips, we're gonna do forward flexion and backward extension. So I want you to kick your leg forward, good. And then I want you to kick backwards, wonderful. And with that forward flexion, you can either do it with a bent knee, because what we're really caring about is the hip, or it can be a straight knee. And then that backward extension. Very good. And remember, your shoulder and your hips are the same type of joints. So they do very similar types of movements. So just like your shoulder did forward flexion and backward extension, your shoulder also did that abduction AB and adduction ADD. So adding it together, your hips do the same thing. So again, just like you were doing a jumping jack or as if you were making a snow angel, you're going to kick it out to the side. So that's gonna be abduction. Taking it back to the center will be adduction. Very good. And for the last one, you're gonna do external rotation and internal rotation. So if you've ever played hacky sack uh, or know what that looks like, or if you've ever done the stanky leg, then you know what this looks and feels like. So I want you to go ahead and take your heel up and in and then rotate it. So that's gonna be internal and external rotation of that hip joint. The client had full range of motion of the hip. We're gonna check strength against resistance here in a moment. It's a lot easier to do if the client's sitting down, so I'm gonna do that in just a moment. While we're here, we're gonna go ahead and check in your knee range of motion. So you're already doing the first one. So the knee standing in extension looks just like this. Go ahead and turn to the side. For flexion of the knee, you will just bend your heel up towards your bottom. Very good, that's flexion, and then straighten it out, and that is extension. So now I'm gonna sit my client down. So first I'm going to check that strength against resistance of the hip. Typically you can kind of, depending on your patient and how things are going, you can pick one major direction. So we're gonna do adduction and abduction. So first I'm gonna place my hands on the inside of the client's knees. Go ahead and squeeze in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Very good, and now keep them there. And now go ahead and push out. Very good. So very strong, full strength against resistance of the hip and we had had full range of motion. So the hip would get five out of five. Now we're gonna check strength against resistance of the knee. So I'm gonna place my hands on top of the patient's shin, go ahead and straighten the knee, kicking up. Push, 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 good, now hold it there, and now pull back in, because remember it's opposing muscle forces. Very good. So now the knee had full range of motion and full strength against resistance, five out of five. Finally, we're to the ankle and foot. So go ahead and taking your ankle, I want you to press down, very good, press down like you're speeding away in a car. So pedal to the metal, very good. So that is gonna be our plantar flexion. Pedal to the metal is plantar flexion. Now pull your toes up towards your nose. That is dorsiflexion. So remember this is the dorsal side of the foot, like the dorsalis pedis pulse. So dorsal flexion is going up. So we're gonna check that strength against resistance. Placing my hand underneath, push down like it's a pedal. Very good. And then now I'm gonna put my hand on top. Pull, pull, pull. Very good. So that was full range of motion and full strength against resistance. Now for the toes, we often don't check for strength against resistance. The toes mimic the hands. So one thing I can do is I can have my patients spread their toes out wide. Now pull them together. Very good. Now curl them up. Curl them up in a ball, that's gonna be that plantar flexion, and then pull just the toes up towards your nose as if you were trying on a pair of shoes and wanted to see if they're the right size. Very good, so pointing that toe up, very good. So the client had full range of motion of the toe joints as well. Nursing school is hard work. SimpleNursing.com makes it simple. We take your classroom lectures and notes to create a handcrafted study plan with specialized videos and visual study guides that highlight only the top-tested need-to-know key points, coupled with thousands of practice questions to test your knowledge, all neatly organized in our new app. Try it for free today. Visit SimpleNursing.com.